Hey everybody, Wrestling Figure Observer Podcast Episode 2. It's June 16. We got some news today from the Wrestling Figure World. We got new lineups. And before we get into those, I want to follow up on the last episode where we talked about all the new prototypes that showed up on eBay. So, um, Bill from Mattel said that... The Larry Zabisco, um, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall prototypes that were shown are cancelled. So those will more than likely not be coming out. I don't know. Maybe he said it because he will have them at Comic-Con as a surprise. But um, I don't know. I, I I think he wouldn't lie about something like that. So I would assume this would be from the Hall of Fame line since it could possibly be that Mattel will cancel the Hall of Fame line. There's been a lot of weird stuff happening lately. We saw proto or even mock images for the next Hall of Fame line and then Bill from Mattel kind of said that this will not be the next hall of fame line and it's really weird everything about the hall of fame line at the moment is really weird um they discounted the hall of fame um series three figures uh all of them basically all of the first three series to to 10 bucks at at target then they had the the four horsemen pack which they even reduced i think to like 12 dollars for for the four pack So, it might be that those are not selling well enough and Mattel will need to cancel this line. And maybe um, these prototypes of Scott Hall, Kevin Nash and Larry Zabisco were part of this line. So, um, yeah, that's only what I would assume. I don't know, um, might be something different, might have been another reason but whatever so let's get into the lineups that were announced and actually i wanted to have a guest on today to talk about the new lineups with but my internet connection today is terrible and i still wanted to get this episode out so um he had no guest but we will have a guest on the show next time for sure so we got Three new lineups that are now confirmed. We got um, a new basic lineup, which will be basic series 65. And those will be coming out at Ringside Collectibles in mid-August. So in this set, we have Samoa Joe, Emma, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, Sheamus, The Rock, and Kane. Now, um, Kane will be the demon attire uh, I don't know how many basics of that we already got um, the rock I don't know what they want to do with it uh, maybe classic rock um, could be since there are no other legends really in this set we got a new Seamus again he was in basics 59 with the new head scan and we still haven't gotten an elite of it which is surprising in my opinion so yeah that's the second Seamus that will be coming out with his new uh, haircut style whatever then we have Roman Reigns again who will be the figure that was pre-sold at the WWE Superstore at WrestleMania. It was also sold or still is sold on WWEshop.com. It's that basic with the new head scan, which looked pretty promising. So this might be something to pick up uh, for a head swap. We have Kevin Owens, who I would assume must have a new head scan as well. We now got three Kevin Owens with the same head scan and that one isn't really that good in my opinion. So I would hope they give us a new Owens head scan here. Samoa Joe, uh, first basic release. We got the Elite before the basic this time. 
which is not happening that often. Uh, I don't need it since I have the Elite 43 hopefully coming soon. It's taking forever to get here. I pre-ordered them from ringside. But yeah, to get to the Samoa Joe figure again, I hope it will be the green attire. Um, that would look really good on a figure, I think. But I will probably not pick this up. So that's the basic set. Oh no, we, we forgot about Emma. And yeah, I don't know. Did we really need a new Emma? I didn't. But uh, the last we got was basic 49. So it's it's quite some time ago so for the divas collectors there is a new emma coming then we got elite 44 and r when ringside posted the lineups um the lineup was biggie sasha banks randy savage tugboat braun Strowman, and coco beware now uh, a few minutes after ringside posted those lineups um coco beware got taken out and got replaced by sin cara now apparently the legend steal from coco beware expired or something so he's not under wwe legends deal anymore so that's the reason why they can't release this figure so he got replaced by Sin Cara. Uh, Sin Cara should be should be cool. We di didn't have an elite of Sin Cara in a while. So hopefully it will be his Lucha Dragons outfit. Uh, it will probably be. Then we got in this set Randy Savage, who will be the ultimate maniac's attire that uh, will match with the Defining Moments Ultimate Warrior. Now, I think they should have put Randy Savage in the Defining Moment spot and put the Ultimate Warrior in the Elite line since that Ultimate Warrior figure is is actually just a normal Elite. I don't see it as a Defining Moments. It doesn't really have that cool accessories. It has like sunglasses and I think that's it. And if you would have put Randy Savage in that, you could maybe have included a a um, jacket, the Ultimate Maniacs jacket, which would have been awesome. And I think they won't include this with the Elite. So it will probably just come with the hat and glasses. But maybe Mattel will surprise us and uh, include a jacket here. I don't see it coming, but it would be sweet. Uh, Tuckboat, uh, I... I never watched him. I I have no idea who he is pretty much. Um, never seen a match of him or anything. So I'm not that excited for that figure. Then we have Biggie, which is really exciting to me. He will complete our Elite New Day. So that will be awesome. I hope they will include his duster because... I think that would re look really good on the figure. I don't need a tag belt or anything, so I think the duster would be a great accessory to throw in with this big E. Then we have Braun Strowman, who is coming out like one month after his basic. So you should probably wait for the Elite. Uh, no need in buying the basic. Uh, I hope it will come with the black sheep mask. I, I don't think there are much other accessories you could throw in with it. So that would be that. And we have Sasha Banks. Now, I hope Mattel will not be cheap on this on like other Elite Divas like AJ. We didn't get any accessories. I hope they will give us a jacket and sunglasses. I would really hope that. I don't need a belt because we got that. A jacket and sunglasses for Sasha would be awesome. That would make the figure sell even better, I think. I really hope they're doing that. But you never know with Mattel. And now we have the Elite Legends line. Uh, 
which was supposed to be Elite 45, but it isn't, I guess. Now, when Ringside posted this, there were a lot of people saying, oh my god, the Legends line is back, which would have been awesome, since I would have been uh, getting six current roster Elites every two months. But that apparently isn't the case. This is a one-time thing. And four of these figures are going to be re-releases. Kamala is Legends 2, Shawn Michaels Elite 19, Warrior um, Legends 6, and Undertaker is Elite 23. Now Magnum TA was supposed to come in Legends 7, but that was cancelled because Legends didn't sell. And that was basically the time when Legends started to take over the Elite line with the flashbacks. I really would prefer an Elite line with just current roster guys. But uh, that's how it is now. And there will be Chris Jericho. And on the image that Ringside showed us, it looks like it's a current day Jericho. But it says Elite Legend. So I don't know. But we would really need a current day Jericho. It has been almost three years since we gotten one. It was an Elite 20. So it's more than overdue. He has been on TV and... He's been getting basics too, so I wonder why they never made an updated Elite. Now, one thing about this lineup that really doesn't appeal to me is all the re-releases. I mean, I have all these figures that they're going to re-release. And I really don't collect for value. I, I really don't. But, but it's kind of cool if you have bought a figure like few years ago for 20 bucks that you can look at and say oh my god look that's now worth like 80 bucks and I just spent 20 back in the day I know it's cool for for new collectors coming that um, don't need to pay high prices but I think it's a slap into the face of longtime collectors that have been with Mattel since day one they could do the attire slightly different I mean there are various options to do other warrior attires they could have done hbk attire different so i don't really know i really think that's a bad move by mattel it's probably uh making them much money um making them more money to just re-release older figures instead of putting time into making different outfits I don't think it's a good move at all. Uh, a lot of collectors won't buy these since they have them already. And yeah, I don't really like it, like I said. Uh, but let me know what you think of these re-releases in the comments, please. Also, please let me know what you think of the lineups. Um, what do you think of Elite 44? What do you think of the Elite Legends line? Um, I pre-ordered a couple figures. Uh, I pre-ordered uh, Sasha Banks. I pre-ordered Big E and Braun Strowman. From Elite 44, I pre-ordered the Elite Legends Jericho and hope that it's current uh, day Jericho. But yeah, like I said, it's in the Elite Legends line, so it could obviously be like a classic Jericho attire. But we'll see. Um, this is pretty much it. We covered all the new lineups. And I hope you enjoyed this podcast as well. Uh, I enjoyed making it. So I hope you're looking forward to the next one. And see you.